WooTube. <laughs> yeah, you heard it right, WooTube. Have a look. So that it fits on like this, because remember, the length is X, right? Oh, oh, right. Oh, right. You see it, you see it, right? And then you're like, ah, oh. like this shape, if only I could do something meaningful with this, what do I need to add on in order to make this thing? And the answer is, look, this is what I and that's fine. So like, oh, oh, I should square it, right? So you add on 25, yeah, that's the thought I have. <laughs> Gee, they're vocal in there, aren't they? He is Mr. Wu. The maths teacher from Cherry Brook in Sydney who's making maths fun with his online lessons. And last night, what about this? He was named Australia's local hero for 2018. Eddie Wu joins us now. Congratulations, my man. Big round of applause to Eddie. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Uh, thank you so much for the kind of you. <laughs> How do you feel? Look, I am still sort of coming down from this incredible high. We all here in Canberra had our money on all the different amazing state and territory recipients. And I was sure I knew who was going to win Local Hero. And then when my name was called out, I just, my heart didn't skip a beat. I think it skipped three or four. And <laughs> I'm still, I don't know if it started up again, but it's just amazing. I watched your reaction. It was beautiful. It looked like you almost shed a tear. <laughs> Obviously, as you say, so many deserving winners, but you got the gong this time round. Give us a little bit of history. How did this come about? Why did you start posting these lessons online? Mm. Five years ago, I had this student of mine who was just in year 10. He was 16 years old and he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which, I mean, that's an incredibly violent disease, as mm. most people know. I mean, I think of three to six months was a sort of typical prognosis and he was going to spend weeks and weeks being treated, recovering for his immune system and I thought, look, if I just send this boy away with a textbook and say, you know, read chapter five, we'll see you in a month, good luck, that just felt like such a, a feeble sort of response and I mean, I, my mum was uh, diagnosed with lung cancer when I was year 10, I knew what kind of transformation that would do to a boy's life and I thought I, I want him to be normal for at least one part of his ex existence and so I just got my phone out I put it up on the table and I thought it can take video it's a bit sort of hokey and low quality but you can see the whiteboard you can hear my voice I hit record and the rest is history well done well said um, and look it's energy isn't it it's energy and passion uh, that so many teachers have in, in teaching our kids uh, what is the secret, do you think, to learning and, and what is the secret for a teacher in communicating with, with uh, young people? I don't know if it's a secret, but I think that the real key to being an effective, engaging teacher is to know that teaching is not just about conveying information. It's not about just lecturing at people, because if that were the case, people have the internet now. They do not need us. Mm. Education, real teaching, is about having a relationship with students, being able to make a connection with them, and through that relationship, through that connection, connecting them to an idea, a skill, a concept, helping them understand, okay, hey, I can see you have this amazing talent. Maybe you don't even know it yet, but I can help nurture that and help you become something amazing. That's what teaching is really about for me. And Eddie, I know you are really passionate about making education accessible to all children. Um, give them an education, you give them a life. Absolutely, and it's why I feel so strongly about putting my videos online and making them available free. I mean, technology is not a replacement for teachers. Like I mentioned before, you've got to have that relationship with, with the, the individual who you sit next to. But what technology can do is help bridge so many of the gaps. And, you know, a lot of people in the news, we hear about amazing education sy systems like, say, Finland and Singapore. But people often forget that Singapore is just one tiny little city and we are 25 million people spread across something bigger than Europe. And so those challenges of remoteness and rural communities that don't have the same access are something I'm really keen to be able to address. I was told by my, my, my maths teacher that um, some people are built for maths and others aren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what I think, think I would beg to disagree with that teacher, <laughs> you know. I mean, I really have to say this quite honestly. Yeah. When I was at school... English and history were far and away my best subjects. I just, I love stories, you know. Um, but I went into mathematics teaching because, to cut a long story short, at university I was told the incredible need that we have and I just wanted to be useful. I wanted to go wherever that people uh, needed that assistance. And what I came to realise was, even as someone who just loves writing stories, loves reading about, you know, mm. battles and, and politics and all that kind of thing, actually 
mathematics really is for everyone. If I can sort of grab a hold of it, I think anyone really can. Well. Eddie, your passion is just infectious, and I reckon you would have fired up a lot of people out there to perhaps consider teaching as a career. Yeah. And for those already there, you've given them an extra boost. Congratulations and good luck with the year ahead. You're wonderful. Thank you so much. It's lovely talking to you. Yeah, well said, Georgie. I should say, he's already got uh, mm. 200,000 subscribers mm. and millions worldwide who are tuning into WooTube. Isn't he fabulous? Fabulous. Terrific. Just makes me want to go back to maths class. <laughs>